Good evening and welcome to the Australian Open Rally for Relief, where the biggest names in world tennis come together for a cause close to all of our hearts. And when we say the biggest names, we mean it. They're based here at Rod Laver Arena. I can tell you there's been plenty of banter coming from down that hallway behind me. They are ready to go. And these players, along with the rest of the tennis family, have been touched by the ongoing bushfire crisis here in Australia. This is going to be a long, hot, dry and dangerous fire season and all of us in that shared responsibility have to play our part. The bushfire disaster in Australia has escalated to a level never seen before. A fire now the size of Belgium with no relief in sight. We've lived here for 38 years now and um, it's pretty sad I suppose but anyway we'll, we'll, be, we'll build again and we'll, we'll live again you know. It's been a pretty tough time for a lot of, you know, the major states of our country and, you know, especially this time of the year when everything, you know, leading into Christmas and the New Year should be a happy time for these families and a lot of these people are uh, doing it pretty tough out there. You know, we've got the ability and the platform to do something like that and obviously, you know, my hometown's Canberra and we've got the most toxic air in the world at the moment, so it's pretty sad. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it's tough. It's heartbreaking for, for all Australians. It's been going on for, for over two months now. I think it's, it's all across our country. There are so many people and so many lives, um, so much wildlife been affected by the fires. And I think, uh, you know, what, how the country has come together and trying to, trying to help as much as they can has been amazing. It, it shows that, that Aussies, um, you know, they stand with each other, they stick by each other. Australia is such an amazing country and it's just clearly it's very sad to see that. I really hold the best for, for the whole nation right now. I've been playing Australia for over 20 years um, and it's been really hard for me to watch all the news and everything that has been happening. It's a super sad situation and um, I am here to help to raise important money for, for the disaster. As Aussies, we're all about helping each other and together we can make a huge difference.
again. So shed your skin and let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, throw your arms around me. Couldn't think of a better song to sum up the spirit of tonight. Well, it was hot and humid in Melbourne today, but then, as if right on cue, the heavens opened. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is rain indeed. We haven't seen it for quite some time, but what it is, a sight to see. Well, good evening, everybody, and thank you for being part of what is going to be a really, really special night tonight, Rally for Relief. And you know what? We are off to a great start because inside Rod Laver Arena, it is a full house, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your support. James Bracey, it's great to have you here tonight inside Rod Laver Arena, and what an atmosphere already. Oh, so good. Just great to be here, packed out before the Australian Open's even started, and people around the country who've done so much for what is a special cause. And tonight, it's a chance to reflect on what's happened, what's ahead, and also have a bit of fun too with some tennis right here at Rod Laver Arena. Fast forward tennis, we've grown to love it. It's a great concept. Some of the biggest stars in the game out here on the court a little later on tonight. And then a singles matchup. It will be one set. There'll be a tiebreaker if required, but it is two huge stars going head to head. We'll reveal some more details about that a little later on tonight. Well, everywhere you look tonight, there are superstars. Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, Serena Williams, and they are all Naomi Osaka and all donating their time tonight. So isn't the family, the tennis family, just superb? It's unreal. And speaking of donating, we have two things that we'd like you to do tonight. Just the first one's really easy, and that's sit back, relax, and enjoy the tennis. But number two is to donate, and we've made it really easy for you. It's ozopen.com slash aces. So we'll take $2, we'll take $2.50, 250 200000 we'll take whatever tonight. So make sure you get online and donate as soon as you can. Absolutely, and don't forget too that so far throughout the summer of tennis, $100 from Tennis Australia for every ace that has been served. And up to this point, we've got over 4,000 aces that have been hit. That means over $400,000 we've already got the bushfire relief fund. So well done to all those tennis players so far. And tonight, every ace that's struck, and for the remainder of the summer of the tennis, right up to the final of the Australian Open, they will count as well and go straight into the kitty. Another treat tonight, Beck, is the fact that we've got some VIP guests, some firefighters from around Australia who've been out there saving lives and saving homes. And tonight, they're here to enjoy some tennis and have a night on. And what a roar. They deserve it. They deserve it indeed. Almost a standing ovation for our firefighters here tonight inside Rod Laver Arena. Yeah, well done to you all. And later tonight, we'll hear some of the great stories that they have got to tell. And boy, are there some stories they need to tell and share with the Australian public. Beautiful reception here, ladies and gentlemen. As people do stand up right around the crowd here for our firefighters. Some here tonight, and of course, so many out there at the moment, fighting fires, saving lives. Everyone saving lives. is up on their feet, James Bracey. That's what it means to us. We say thank you and we salute you. Simply remarkable here at Rod Laver Arena. What an atmosphere, Ben. 
It is tremendous indeed. I can't wait to get things started. It's great to have everyone here. Great to have everyone in the spirits that we want them to be in. We're here to have some fun tonight and we'll share so many of these great stories this evening as well. One man who will be finding out some of those tales to tell is our very own Tony Jones. Evening, TJ. Yes, good evening, James. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'll tell you what, as if we're not surrounded by enough in the way of tennis royalty, what about this man, folks? The nine-time Grand Slam champion, Dylan Orcott. Thank you, TJ. Thank you, everyone. Mate. I've got goosebumps. It's such an honour to be here and it's been such a tough time for so many Australians, you know, right across the country for a few months. But tonight's all about making money and having fun as well. And it's going to be incredible. A fast forward doubles match with 10 of the world's best tennis players split in half, two teams of five, and then a singles match that you do not want to miss. It's going to be amazing. It is. And we're going to get to that very shortly. But I just want to ask you a few questions here. Are you ready to raise some money? Are you ready to raise some spirits? Are you ready to raise this roof? And are you ready to welcome the teams onto centre court? Take away, All right, let's get into it. Up first, the captain of Team Wozniacki. Please welcome Australian Open champion, Caroline Wozniacki. Caroline Wozniacki, welcome back to Australia. We absolutely love you in Australia. I know you love Australia as well. What does it mean to you to be a part of such an awesome event? It means so much. I'm so happy all of you came out today and supporting this. Obviously, Australia's going through a lot, as you know, and uh, that we can all be here together today and raise a lot of money is really, really great. So I hope we all have fun today and raise a ton of money. Now, you're... This event came together, you know, pretty quickly. Are you proud with the way that the tennis family came together to try and help the bushfire crisis? I really am. Um, you know, to have all these great players and all these great fans here today in a few days' notice, it's amazing how everyone got together. And uh, we all love Australia. We all have that in common and we all want to help as much as we can. Awesome. Now, I've seen your team list. Wow, it is very good. Now, let's check out who's on your team. Let's bring out Team Wozniacki, her first player, a rising star of the sport. Please welcome Coco Goff. Also joining Team Wozniacki, make him welcome Alexander Zverev. The Greek sensation, Stefanos Tsitsipas. And the champion, Naomi. Okay, a very, very formidable team, that one, but I reckon we've got their measure as we make welcome the captain of Team Williams, the one, the only, the immortal Serena Williams! <laughs> Serena, welcome back to Melbourne, welcome back to Australia, 20 years and... Obviously, that's why you're so touched by what you've been seeing. Yes, um, 20 years has been my home and I've had so many great matches on this court and in this country. And so that's why we're all here tonight to support and to help out. And you must have been very touched when yourself and your little girl went to actually meet the firefighters yesterday. Yes, my daughter had a chance to meet the firefighters and, you know, it's just, it was just a really cool moment, not only for her, but for me. All right, well, we're in for a terrific night tonight. It is for a very good cause. Great to see you, Serena. Thanks for being part of it. Serena Williams, ladies and gentlemen, and this is Team Williams. Let's welcome Team Williams onto the court. First up, one of the world's best, Dominic Team. Please welcome out the big hitting, Petra Kvitova. Seven-time Australian Open champion, Novak Djokovic! And Grand Slam champion, Rafael Nadal!
Okay, you guys need to warm up because right now we're heading up upstairs to our commentary position, headed up by the great Todd Woodbridge. Thanks, TJ. Uh, we are looking forward to it here. Got Casey Delacqua here with Sam Groth. Uh, I think one of the things I'm most looking forward to is that we've got the players mic'd. So we're going to hear a lot from them. They're going to be having fun, and it's not that serious stuff that we're going to see next week when the Australian Open gets underway. Um, I'm going to start with you here, Sam. I mean, you're a country boy, and you know how devastating these fires have been for everybody out there. Yeah, I certainly do. For me, growing up in country New South Wales, and just recently I was up on the border of New South Wales and Victoria, up near Mount Gotham and Dinner Plains where I know the fires went through four-wheel driving. I spent a lot of time this year in Gippsland travelling out for work, uh, going to these places in these communities that have been affected. So to be here tonight and to be a part of this, it's great for me to be here, but it's great for everyone that we're doing this and just to support those, those groups of people. Well, talking about support, Casey, um, how good is it that we've got all of these top players, these champions like Rafa, Novak, Serena, all putting their time up? Well, I think it just shows what tennis is about. We're a tight community. We all love to get together when we all need to, and that's what Rally for Relief is tonight. But even over the last couple of weeks, just seeing all the athletes, um, their pledges um, being donated, also time, and then here tonight, I'm really looking forward to this one. Yeah, we're well, looking forward to getting it all underway, so I'm going to pass it back down to Beck and James. Thank you very much, Todd and team. Well, we are going to have a lot of fun tonight with Fast Four Tennis to come. But here's a little reminder of why we are determined tonight to raise as much money as we possibly can. Beautiful.
See those stories, James Bracey. Hello and welcome. Thank you very much for being part of our really special night tonight that is Rally for Relief. As you can see, our Fast 4 tennis is not far away, James, but before we get into that, we need you, we're asking you to do one special thing tonight, and that is donate. Absolutely. Get behind the cause, ozopen.com forward slash and get aces tonight. We are adding to that total already with over $400,000 in the kitty. We saw that fittingly beautiful reception here at Rod Laver Arena earlier for our firefighters, our VIP guests who are here at Rod Laver Arena tonight for what is going to be a special night of tennis and entertainment. And Tony Jones is our man on the scene together to know a couple of them this evening. Yeah, and it's a couple representing so many, isn't it, James? Uh, Alistair, welcome along to Melbourne Park. Hey, thanks, Tony. Thank you. How did you feel when you were welcomed and the audience stood as one and that ovation that just seemed to last forever. That's just incredible, absolutely incredible. I mean, we're only, you know, one out of many and um, it's just incredible to see what people are doing. I guess you'd love all your mates to be here tonight and uh, enjoy what you'll be enjoying, but i I tell you what, you deserve it. I think uh, us city folk only get a snapshot of what you actually go through. Uh, thank you. Uh, I think it takes everybody to pitch in and do their own bit and it's, uh, it's terrific to see everyone out here helping. What did you think when the rain came? <laughs> yeah, it's terrific. It's really good. <laughs> Where were you two weeks ago? Yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. All right. Good on you, mate. All right. We're going to also have a very quick chat to Chris. Chris, uh, how are you, mate? Yeah, good. Good. Thanks. Yeah, good. What do you think here? I mean, you're a VIP. You've earned it. You've earned your stripes. You're a lieutenant. And here you are as an honorary member of the team. Oh, a bit out of water, I think. <laughs> I don't think you are, mate. And uh, water is the key, isn't it? What would you like to say to everyone? Oh, just thanks for everyone and feel free to donate. Uh, much appreciated and everyone needs that support. All right, good stuff. Give them a big round of applause again as we head up to the commentary position with our commentators headed up by Todd Woodbridge. Well, good evening, everybody. What a uh, start to the evening. Some uh, emotional pitches. And we're about to get into the fun part of it with our greats, Caroline Wozniacki, out there. They're at the coin toss now with John Blom, the umpire. But before we get to this, this just happened, and this was a hit to targets to try and raise extra cash, guys. And there was a little bit of a what, but then they got going pretty well, didn't they? Yeah, they certainly did. It took a little bit of time there for the players to get into it, but for some firepower, especially Novak Djokovic, I saw him really rifling some forehands. He's had a lot of success on this court over the years, though. He has, but I'm going to... I think Serena Williams' team took the cake there. They all hit they their were, spots. They were on song. They were they? definitely it's on the, song. the champion versus the challengers that we've got going on in teams tonight. OK, you, you sir. Go. How you go? Yeah. The good thing, all as right, I mentioned, Serena. is that we've got extra commentators out on the court. Four of them. So we're about to get underway. Serena to serve. Fast ladies forward. Ladies and gentlemen, first set, Team Wozniacki to serve. Well, it won't be Serena. It's going to be uh, <laughs> Stefano Tsitsipas. Here we go. was going to get involved. Hadn't hit a ball yet before that point, had she? Well, if you've got the chance. No, <laughs> Always a good option. All right, all right. All right. I got you. Well, you got me. Come on. So, hold on. So, if oh, we get man. a target, meaning the person at the net, do we get extra money for the time? Yes. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I think that's This is deal. exhausting. A little rural innovation there from... Anything to, ma anything to make a few Should extra we dollars. we like for extra speed serve? No. No. Okay. <coughs> uh, okay. Ah! Way up. Way up. <laughs> I can see that. Football. Ah! Ah! Hey. 
Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. That's it. That's it. 13 15. Yeah. <laughs> Very surprised. Going body. T's wide open right here. Wide open. He's going so like body. Here. Yeah. Hey. Oh! Hey, he left the tee open for him, didn't he? 1450. That's a thought. That, that'll go to our, our aces tally. I guess the mind games don't work with Certainly you does. Another $100. <laughs> Yeah, the aces for bushfire break. relief fund yeah. there. Oh my gosh, I go, go back. Happy for Novak to leave it open. The more money we can raise go tonight, the, the better. Corner. I got you, don't worry. Oh, oh, oh nice. No. Oh. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. So, first game, let's throw it down to Dylan Alcott on court. Hey, Dylan. Novak Djokovic, you let the team down a little bit there. What's going on? I'm looking what? You let the team down a little bit. I'm sorry, Captain. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's a big stage. It's, you know, it's pressure. I've got some bad news for you both as well. After that first game, you've been subbed out already. New players coming on. Is that all right? All right, good. So, it'll be Rafa, it's not a bad sub with uh, Petra Kovitova, Wimbledon champion, 19 Grand Slams from Rafa. Lefties. And on the other end there's a sub too. Yeah, Alexander Zverev Gee, and Naomi yeah. Osaka, so only one game for our opening four players. It's tough to get some rhythm with that, isn't it? I have to say, this is the first time I've seen Naomi Osaka on a doubles court. Oh. Challenge. Oh. <laughs> Williams are challenging the call on the left near sideline. Balls go downs. I reckon it should cost the players hundred dollars to challenge tonight, especially if they're wrong. They should have to pay a fine for being wrong. We'll send him an invoice. I, all of you guys at least hit some balls. I didn't, I, all I did was this, so. <laughs> ah, oh my God. <laughs> okay. I go DM you cross. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, can, he just can't turn the competitive nature off, can he? He can't, that's for sure. What about the pressure that Petra's feeling, though? Well, she got instructions, but he didn't deliver the serve oh, to the right place. Boy. The thing is, she literally just told me if I miss one more ball, she's substituting me out. Ah, oof, a lot of pressure now. <laughs> <laughs> Double fall is close. Court intruder. Pedra, stay there, don't move. Yes. Great job. Ready or not?
Timed up oh, great. at oh, one all. I'm getting sub. I think we're getting another <laughs> sub in. Going to get a bit of lady stubbles. <laughs> no, no. Well, that's not very nice. The Dominic <laughs> team. No, <laughs> so I'm so He's still out there. Oh, well, I saw it. Yeah. Don't double fall. It's, uh, we're playing it loose here tonight. Know. Even, uh, even us in the combo, booth, not sure what's coming. Really well, we've got team okay. out there now do, for Nadal. But I'm also two and six against him, so don't listen to what I say. Okay. We've got Sitsa Pass right. running laps. We can be, you can be three and six now, right? I just don't want to double fall. Family is doing well. Just give me the serve, no, man. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I double faulted. Of course I double fault. I told you you should have served. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. <laughs> no, 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 no. A, I get a third serve. I'm the youngest out here. Violence. Oh, I can't serve. Let's just go in the ad side now. This is my best side. I think she's just got to go with the Nick Kyrgios underarm serve. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is Coco Goff. She's one of the rising stars of the WTA Tour. Oh. Oh. She's got, a, yes. she's got an ovation from the crowd when she yes. made that serve. Go. The youngest player in the WTA Top 100, Todd. Yeah, so some of our viewers may not have seen her before. Qualified at Wimbledon, beat uh, Venus Williams first round, went on to the round of 16. Okay, I won't double fall this yep, time. Correct. So that was her breakthrough. I can do this all day. I'm younger oh, than you. <laughs> out? Allen, 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 Allen. Ball's called out on the baseline. See, Nobody. Osiaki is charging the call on the right baseline. Naomi. Naomi. Hey, Naomi. All right, we actually got a. I didn't think we were going to find a review. <laughs> Oh, it's way out. Oh, oh. Why are you letting a ball get challenged for a big one? That was great. <laughs> 15 touches. Well, it's fun. Good fun. Yeah. 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 All right. Hey, you're hey, guys are trading. You guys play against what? each other. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Alright then. I'll just stay Papa. here then. Huh? <laughs> That's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody left us. <laughs> no, we're like one Hello? big happy family, aren't we? We've got to. Uh... <laughs> Drinks I orders. Get wet, then. We play let's. We play let's. Wait, we play let's. Yes. Uh, oh no. Oh. For your. 30 40. This is a tough ass for, for Coco to play out on her own. Youngest player on the court. Everyone's abandoned her. She's on her own side of the net. All her team sitting on Team Wozniacki's bench. Oh, God. Okay, well. Uh, cross. I would ask you to go on a drink with me, but I'm too young, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love yeah. that. What a sense of humor from Coco Golf. You got it. Water. Okay, it's okay. I'll just stay here. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yes! Good job, dude. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, classic is that. 
<laughs> so many points. Don't Dominique Tim says, I, I'd ask you out on a, out for a drink, <laughs> but I'm too ready. young. <laughs> Receiver's choice. Again? <laughs> or I'll return to you. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So we fast forward. Hey. Got to change a partner. Don't double fall, Coco. Yes, good serve, Coco! <laughs> <laughs> what a nice guy. At least on her team. Yeah. Oh, of course. There you go. There you go. Team oh. All right, we're off to a good start. Oh, we're going to go down to TJ at court courtside. Come on. Not fair. Not fair. Okay, is it was it? an ace as well. Can we challenge this? Well, no. as we said, we've got a number of VIPs here at Melbourne Park tonight, and I just want to introduce another couple of those VIPs for you. This is Zach. Now, Zach, uh, you're 15? Uh, yeah. 15, and this is your mate, Matt, 16 years of age. Uh, now, you're from Malakuta. Where do you work there? Uh, the pub, Malakuta Hotel Motel. What do you do there? Uh, I work in the bistro. Right, OK, then. Now, you've both been put through the ringer. I mean, you were both forced out, as were your families. Where's all your family now, Matt? Uh, Bansdale. My mum's in Bansdale with my little brother and sister. Right. Your mum's watching this from hospital, is she? Uh, yeah, no, nah, she's in uh, Old Boss now with her parents. Right. Did she suffer an injury, you were telling me earlier? Yeah, she broke her collarbone. Right. So, how did you get to Melbourne? Because you both had sort of varying methods to get down here, didn't you? Yeah, I flew the plane. My um, auntie ordered a charter. Your auntie ordered a charter? Gee, your auntie's going all right, isn't she? And how'd you get down here? Hitchhike? Uh, maybe both. Right. Did, did your auntie order that one as well? No. Nah. <laughs> so I guess the thing is, um, you know, is that a lot of these country towns which have been ravaged by the fires, and you were showing me some video before of the height of it, just horrible stuff, is that you eventually want people to actually come back to Malakuta when yeah. it's uh, time to come back. Yeah, it's just such a beautiful place, and, like, it's just, like, really sad to see it just, like, all destroyed. And, like, yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, sad. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I cut you off there mid-sentence there. Now, you're telling me you're 15, you're 16, but here you are, I mean, through horrendous circumstances, front row seats, Melbourne Park, watching these stars in action, and you got your drinks here. How old are you? Oh, 15. 15. <laughs> are you sure you're 15? <laughs> My, my, my voice is a little dodgy tonight. I reckon that's uh, my, just helping that. that. That is rocket fuel, my friends. Anyway, you sit back and enjoy the rest of it. And uh, is there anything you'd like to say on behalf of... No, yeah, you would. <laughs> is there anything you'd like to say on behalf of everyone in Malakuta? I mean, people who have been supporting? Yeah, so everyone go donate. Like, yeah, it's just destroyed. And, yeah, just need some help. All right, good work, mate. Well done. Give them a round of applause, everyone. Two brave young men. Well done, fellas. Well, that's one of the things that we need to remember, too, is that we need to get these towns back up and running. And if uh, we can all get down to some of the places that have had some of this distress and, you know, by going to them, we get them back up and running just to put some dollars back into the communities. Absolutely. It's the first thing that I'll be doing when I can with my family is pack the car, pack the kids' scooters and bikes and go to these communities and really give back to the community. I think, you know, with this broadcast going worldwide too, and it's one of those things we've got to tell the world, that Australia is still open for business. There's so many beautiful places around Australia, and we need those tourists to be coming down here and supporting um, all of these different places along our coastlines. We certainly do, and there's still so much to see and do, and they're going to come bounce back. All right, we're going to get back into it. Dominic team to serve. Team Williams trailing. One, two. Don't double fault, no. Okay. Double fault like me, be like Coco. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh. It's okay. No. Ooh. Who are you backing in here, Case? Yo, this Rest is a it's interesting yeah. matchup, isn't it? Yeah. Men versus the women. It is. I've got to go with the women, don't I? Yeah, you should. Come on, girls. Yeah. Next time you play, Particularly as, make sure as one of the, the great shiny, doubles players of the game more oh, recently. Says Todd Woodridge. Yeah, exactly. No, 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 he did no, say no, more no. recently. More, well, more. Yes, just start to join us in the booth. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I go, I go Inside, by. It's fine. Oh. Oh, my God. Come on. Keep going. Get him, okay? Yes. 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 Yes.
Jesus! Oh. Oh. That Anderson. Oh. Well, let's not forget, oh, Caroline yeah. Wozniacki is hit in in doubles. She played doubles with Serena Williams, her best friend, in Auckland last week. I don't week. deserve to be in here after that. <clears throat> Stephanos, yeah. it's your turn. Yeah. She's, she subbed right. herself out. <laughs> Wasn't that bad a performance, surely? <laughs> We get double points. Okay. <laughs> oh. Get up, get up. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, video review. Oh, my God. Uh, we don't what have happened? video review. Do you have yeah. uh, the ATP Cup? Only ATP uh, Cup. Thing? <laughs> For the... Doesn't work here. You don't have it here. But the ball bounced, so he's allowed, no? So, yeah. you yeah. might have seen last week at the well, ATP right. Cup for the first time <laughs> in tennis we had the, uh, the video review. I remember you in the ATP Cup. Like <laughs> the Grand Slam level. <laughs> 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 it's a two cup with a big success to start <laughs> oh, uh, the 2020 <laughs> season. Eh. 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 Ah! 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 We're doing well. Uh, We're doing well. We need this point, Dominic. Oh, no, 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 it's your side. Come on. <laughs> oh, you guys Come are on, so I cute. See? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, no. You see? see? Naomi, you should have said Naomi. <laughs> 40, 30. Um. Oh, that's very nice from Aww. Naomi. <laughs> that was too much pressure, Stefanos. Please kick, please, please kick. No, please. Uh, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Hey. Oh. Team Williams. <laughs> Two games on. So, so we're all level to all in this opening set. And we're going to have another yeah, sub in yeah. here. What about Serena last week in uh, Auckland winning for the first time in, what, four years? So impressive. Titles in four decades. Amazing. And truly one of the favourites come Australian Open next week. It's coming out to, with Petra Kvitova. Remember Petra, a runner-up here at the Australian Open last year to Naomi Osaka. And a last yeah, you Grand Slam. I don't think yeah, my double thoughts are going to help Caroline us. Why would we not play with the <laughs> it is. It, let's not forget that. She's Carol about to serve. She is, and she is the former let's Australian Open on. champion. Go. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> it's important she gets a good send-off, okay. doesn't it? She's been a That's champion so for a long time uh -huh. in our sport. Correction, ah. the ball is good. That was good, that was good, that was good. Okay, we replay. Replay the points. <laughs> Thank you for that. Almost got hit by Serena. <laughs> Actually, I hit it in the bottom of the net. But... Ah, go for it. Lock, lock. Cross. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to miss here, so there you yeah. go. Good one. Cross, cross. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> Some serious star patter on this court right now. Coco Golf, how do you think she feels? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I have it. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think she might have made it. She did. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. I had it. Sorry. I had it. 
have a look at this tweener. Oh, it might have been an illegal one. It definitely bounced one more time than it's supposed to. We're not going to tell anybody, though. He's laughing right now, but there's steam coming out of it. You're good, you're good. She's just thinking, I get a short She's just waiting for that short Maybe I should, like, scoot back a little. Yeah, go ahead. I think this is the best one. Should have been a hindrance. Just ace, okay? <laughs> Go kick, kick out wide. Out wide? Okay. Yeah, kick out wide, her forehand. Kick out wide. Yeah. Dominic, uh, forehand. I don't know how to do a kick. Just hit an ace. Her forehand. <laughs> He's gonna kill it. It's okay. So much pressure. That's the one serve I don't need. No pressure. Uh, a lot of okay, we're good. We'll be back with more from Rally for Relief.
Welcome back to the Rally for Relief. We are here for the fire reason. Make sure you donate right now with the link that is on your screen. And we are joined by Deb Ball from the Stuart Mill Fire Brigade. Can we get a round of applause for Deb, everybody? Now, Deb, you were fighting fires up until Monday this week. Yes, I was up at the Corriong Fires. Now, what was the scenes like up there? Um, it's very black, very smoky, very black. And, yeah, you get to see lots of dead animals and lots of houses that are destroyed. But we're there trying to make all the farmers feel safe while they go about their business. Awesome. Now, it's such an important night to, to donate for such an important cause. However, during the ad break, you pulled me over and said, Dylan, I'm a really good tennis player. And I said, Deb, are you a good tennis player? So you play a bit of tennis. I play for Sanana Lawn Tennis Club. <laughs> in the in the midweek ladies competition, is that right? Saturday afternoon okay. comp. Okay. Very even better. Now, Deb, who is your favourite tennis player out here of everybody playing? Rafa. Yeah. All right. Who wants to see Deb team up with Rafa for a couple of points? What do you reckon? All right, Rafa, Deb. Has somebody got a spare racket for Deb? Has somebody got a racket? Okay. Deb, good luck. Get out there. Well, can you imagine how nervous she's just about to get, Deb? We've gone from fighting fires up in Corriong on Monday to playing doubles alongside the world number one on Rod Laver Arena. Yeah, Deb just talked about all the animals. It's, it's a good link into the ATP and their donation Rafa and Novak helped uh, launch uh, 725,000 Australian double, uh, dollars to the World Wildlife Fund. That's a great pledge. Yeah, it certainly is. Nice. Oh. 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 Just came down a little too steep on that volley. Oh, Maybe a few nerves just snatching at it slightly. What a moment though. Ah. Good shot. Go for it. Come on. Let's run away. Let's run away. Well. Laughed at I mean, it's really amazing, though, isn't it? Rafa's her favourite player. She plays tennis. Yeah. Everything they do is for no recognition, really. Kill her. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Didn't take any convincing to go for the hug, did she? She had the opportunity. You're going to take the hug when you can get it, hey? Take all your opportunities in life. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Okay. Let's go there. Come on. We got this. Come on. Oh. Good. Go. Oh. Perfect. Oh. Bravo. Just 
just about levels it up for Team Williams. Tie break. What an incredible experience, though. And honestly, it's such a small something that she's able to come out as recognition for everything the firefighters are doing. It's quite amazing. What a moment. So exciting. <laughs> hey, after all you've done for this country, everybody affected, that is what you deserve. Round of applause for Dev, everybody. Five-point tiebreak will be played to decide the match. First to five. Okay, so... Stefano Stitsipas to serve, two serves. All right, come on. Huh? Tied at three-all. Huh? First no, no, to five-point break. I, I, I don't care, I don't care. You don't care? No, I don't care too. Yeah? Okay, it's fine. Can I record this? Doesn't you matter. Here? No, no. no I oh. One sec, where? It's the the, the net general. I'll go here. Okay. 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 Come on. But they, got it? They look alike, right? Huh? Yeah. I go, yeah. I go wherever. You go here. <laughs> yeah. That's his backhand. Like yeah. Hey, come on, guys. Uh, uh, just, just. What uh, is going on here? You guys were talking more please. than us. One, one serious thing. We're going to play serious now. Eh? Yeah, exactly. No problem. That's why I'm already on my knee. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, my God. Oh. Well, Rafa really Team wants Bozniaki. Sasha up there, didn't he? Team Bozniaki to serve. Quick hands. Serve for yourself. Stefan, you serve again. I serve again? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Me. Novak, Novak. If he serve, one more serve. Somebody one more serve? Somebody's take me out before the Australian Open. Wait, guys. You got one more serve, he's saying. Why are you... one more serve. Is it fast four four? Like fast four? Yeah. Nice, two serves. <laughs> okay. Nice. No problem. Okay. To I like again. my return. It's fine. <laughs> Broken. So a fast forward tie break. <laughs> it's two I serves, two serves, two serves, ago, three friend. serves. Kind of <laughs> you were stealing your nappies. Statesman yeah, versus yeah, the yeah. young guns, oh. and Rafa started the, we, the banter we with the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. It's okay. No so 35 grand slam like titles up there. I go court. here. Yeah, we are getting old. They barely have 35 go years go between them, the other two. You receive. 2 0, even side, guys. Even oh, 2 0. Side. You're returning. There's lots of banter going on. This is confusing, <laughs> oh, no. oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, ah, no, 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 Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Two one. Team Bosniaki. Are we replaying that point as well, or yeah, that yeah. counts now? I go here. Back yeah. or you go here. Wherever you want. Going, going over here. Rafa's crossing. I think. Don't <laughs> worry, I didn't see it on the big screen. It's, yeah. Okay. Guys, please, camera, can you show? Rafa's finger where he told me that I should go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready? Okay. <laughs> oh, Come on! Oh, God. Too old. Change hands. Change hands, please. Change hands? Yeah. <laughs> 
format before. See? Next gen. Yeah. How slow they are. Ah. Unbelievable. Ah. <laughs> Look at this, guys. What's the tie 60 plus years here. Five. <laughs> They could play in your Legends uh, event, Todd. But they could. They qualify. Was, they qualify okay. both. Uh, well, we have a combined age. age of 12. So. And with yeah. Yeah. status. <laughs> Same thing. Maybe too much status. You got time. Sorry, it's fine. Um, I'm going to take your stage. Yeah. You know you cheered. Okay. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Kill him. <sighs> Kill him. No. Bye. Go. Blow it. Oh, <laughs> Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Three, two, team Williams. Amazing tactics, Rafa. That was right. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Uh, oh, you go. Okay. Oh, you start down or up? Oh, okay. Oh, oh. about to get kicked off the team. Uh, Novak, down the line, please. Yes. <laughs> All day long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, how old are you? Oh, you played the mother song. Oh, okay. I'm only a year older. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay. Four to okay. Team Williams. So we got a couple of match points. But Serena, match you points good? now for Team Williams. All is yeah. well. Okay. Thank you. We're trying our best uh, for you. Yeah, come on. Serena, <laughs> gotta lift this what up. do you want? Get lifted up. Oh, so, Rafa, um, lift it up. One. Um. <laughs> It doesn't no really make much uh, difference in the middle. <laughs> Cameraman, can we please see Novak's butt? Better lift it in the middle. Uh, you make an ace. Play already. Ace? Okay. Fine. Make an ace. There you go. No problem. <laughs> can we hurry about that shot? <laughs> oh! oh! Set a match, Team Williams. Salad. So there you have it. Team Williams, oh, the man, champion man. team. The winners of this contest here. So we're going to go to a break and we're going to come back and we've got some very special guests. It's going to be uh, very exciting. So stay with us here on Rally for Relief.
Welcome back to Centre Court here at Rod Laver Arena at Melbourne Park, joined by the two captains now because it ain't over yet, ladies. We've got something very special coming up now. It is the Battle of the Singles. Now, I don't want you to tell me who your players are, but I do want you to give everyone at home, everyone here, everyone around the world, just a little bit of a hint as to who you've chosen, Carolyn. Well, we have a little ace of our sleeve. Um, he serves a lot of aces. He is Australian. He is young, tall, and sometimes gets in a little bit of trouble, but <laughs> so that's who's on our team. Well, who do you think that might be, folks? Are you thinking who I think it is? Tell us who it is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on the court, Nick Curio. Okay, so, ah, friendly foes they are. All right, Serena, that's the man that you need to conquer. You're going to have to draw on someone with vast experience, vast talent. Who could that be? Give us a clue. Um, I mean, I, didn't, I wasn't expecting you to bring out Nick. That's totally not fair. So I don't know how I can beat that. But, you know, how about the GOAT? Whoa, who could that be? Who could that be, folks? Who do you think it is? Tell us who it is, Shira. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome on the court the 20 time Grand Slam winner, Roger Miller! Okay, now this is a pretty historic occasion, so if all you guys could please move over there just for a group photo. We need a nice happy snap. So there's the photographers over there. And uh, if you could all turn around in some sort of an order there. There we go. Now, Rafa, Rafa, can I have a chat to you for a moment, please? Now, as if Nick and Roger wasn't a surprise enough, I think Rafa's got another surprise for us, have you? Oh, well, uh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, talking with Roger a uh, couple of hours ago, we, we decided to give uh, 250,000 Australian dollars to the barn fires relief together. So. Hopefully, hopefully that's keep inspiring the people to, to support this terrible disaster that uh, we were going through and uh, helps to recover all the, all the things that we need. Well, you, you need to go and get a photo, uh, but seeing you've got my microphone, uh, can you throw back to James and Rebecca? What? <laughs> you, Toko, you, you say back to you, James and Rebecca. Back to you, James and Rebecca. Well done. That is the best throwback I have ever had. <laughs> He's got a TV career ahead of him. Thank you very boat. much, Rafa. And what about that? An extra $250,000 in the kicker for tonight. Put your hands again. Again, what an extraordinary gesture for our bushfire relief. Of course, you can do your part tonight as well. Ozopen.com forward slash aces to get involved and donate to what is a very worthwhile cause. What about this Feder and Kyrgios? Not far away, and we already know Nick has done so much to those in there. What's going on at the moment is it's devastating. You know, people losing their homes, their lives. Um, you know, my hometown is you know, on the brink of being practically on fire. So, you know, it's not, it's not easy uh, talking about it, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm happy that, you know, we're, we're doing something about it. Uh, you know, every time I stepped up to the line and hit an ace, the crowd was, you know, more, more lively than they usually would be. They were, they were happy every time I hit an ace. And it was a good feeling, you know, the first, my first service game I hit an ace and, you know, I pointed up to the, to the crowd and everyone kind of knew. You know, it's bigger, it's bigger than any of this. You know, even if I'd lost today, you know, it would be in the same situation. I'm still helping, trying to, you know, raise some funds, you know, get, get, get these families, these, you know, all these firefighters, just resources to help. It's just bigger than tennis. I think it's, it's given us the platform to help.
Well, there is no doubt about it. Nick Kyrgios has won over a few tennis fans in the few weeks, in the last few weeks. Great job, Nick Kyrgios. He's been out and about rallying the funds, and he really got the ball rolling, didn't he? He certainly did. Uh, look, making that announcement that $200 from his own pocket was going to the cause, and in the end it finished with 69 aces from Nick himself at the ATP Cup. So brilliant stuff from Nick. And he's about to be out here on court against Roger Federer Beck. This is going to be a sensational match. One singles match could be a tiebreaker at the end of this set, if required, between these two. And Dylan, you're out there and it's a warm up between these two players with a bit of a difference tonight. Yeah, it is. Uh, thanks so much, James. We're out on the court. And to get warmed up, we're going to raise a little bit of extra money. So we've got some targets set up at the end of the court. And what's going to happen is Nick Kyrgios is going to start by acting as coach. And he's going to feed the ball to Roger Federer. And Roger's going to hit as many targets as he can. He gets 100 bucks each target. And then $1,000 in the bonus round, all going towards helping Australians affected by the bushfires. And if you haven't already donated, please do, because it's going towards such a great cause. We're taking a couple of photos with the Fires, but first, before we get to that, I'm going to talk to Nick Kyrgios. Nick, mate, you ever coached or fed a ball in before? What, what was that? You ever coached or fed a ball in before? Yeah, I've, I've uh, fed a couple of balls. Not, 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 not to Roger, but uh, I'm going to make him tough because I want, I want to beat him for one, so. And, <laughs> mate, can I say, as a friend of yours, mate, I'm really proud of you. This was your idea to come up with this. What does it feel like... What does it feel like to be out here tonight and to see, you know, some of the CFA firefighters here tonight enjoying it? Yeah, it's an emotional one for sure. Um, you know, when I was playing ATP Cup, this is all I was thinking about. Uh, I just wanted to get this to this stage with all these, you know, brilliant players, Steph, Novak, all these guys showing their support. To see all the firefighters and all these guys out here, it's just, it's emotional, it's tough. So I just, I just want to have a lot of fun tonight and, and hopefully we can overcome all this. Good on you, Nick Kyrgios. Please, everyone, a big thank you to all the players that played in the doubles. We've got Roger Federer on court. Roger, 100 bucks per target, 1,000 in the bonus round. Quick, keep feeding him, Nick. As many as you can. That's it. That's some horrible feeds, Nick. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's come out cold. There you go, Roger. Here we go. Nice. Nice, Roger. All right, now you've got your 30 second bonus round. Each one of these targets are worth $1,000. You've got 30 more seconds, Roger. You stay here. You've got 30 more seconds, bonus round. You get $1,000 a target. Last one. Oh. Yeah! Came good on the bonus round. All right, now you swap. Now, Roger, you're feeding to Nick. Nick's got a minute. 100 bucks in the first minute. 1,000 bucks in the bonus round. Get it, Kiggs. Ready? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, nice. 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 We 
got the rhythm now. Here we go. We got the rhythm. We can do this all night. Here we go. Oh. Try not to hit Roger. Ah. <laughs> Come on, Nick. That's it. Ten seconds, Nick. All right, last one. Yeah! All right, Nick. 30 more seconds. 1,000 bucks. 1,000 bucks a target. You ready? Well, Let's get it. 10 seconds. It's still gonna be puffed. I like it. You wanna, you wanna go backhand? Forehand's good? Definitely forehand. Oh, no, <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, time starts now. <coughs> yep. <coughs> yep. <coughs> 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 Come on, Nick. Get it, Nick. Five, three, two, one. Last one. Yeah! That's not bad. Good job. I got your feet bigger than that. Gentlemen, well done. That was the most profitable warm-up you've ever done because you just raised $35,000 for the bushfire relief in that warm-up alone. Give it up. Tony, over to you in the crowd. Well, I'm really keen for you to meet this couple. Uh, they are an ace couple, if we can say that. Luke and Heidi, uh, welcome. But where are you from? What part of the world? Uh, Rochester. Rochester, up near the border there, and you've been fighting fires together. Yeah, we went away last weekend to Wodonga. Um, yeah, and it was pretty busy that weekend. Yeah, I'm sure it was. So are you fighting alongside each other? Or, I mean, if you're not, you would obviously have genuine concerns for each other's welfare, wouldn't you? Look, we do a lot of fighting uh, against each other. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> we, uh, yeah, last weekend was certainly um, together. And then um, most of the time we've got a young son, so Heidi stays at home and I'm out uh, fighting fires. So we were saying before that you, you're not only saving lives, you're putting your own lives on hold to do this. And as you say, you've got a young boy. So how, how often are you away from home? I mean, how many nights in a row would you be doing that? Uh, it depends. During summer, it's, it's a lot more, obviously. So there are some times where it's five nights a week sort of thing. Um, during winter, it's a lot, a lot less stress, so um, not as much. All right. Now, when you are on the front line there, who's calling the shots? Uh, he is. <laughs> and at home? Definitely her. Yeah, I'm all right. Good. Uh, now... This is a very, very special night for Heidi and Luke, and we are celebrating it as well because it is your... Anniversary. Yeah, wedding anniversary. How many years? Nine. Nine years. Well, I'm glad we could at least make it a little special given the amount of service that you've done. So on the count of three, let's wish them a, a very big Melbourne Park, a very big happy anniversary. One, two, three. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Great stuff. Thank you, TJ. Luke and Heidi, congratulations. Nine years and going very strong. Great to have them here to enjoy a night of entertainment. We've had the fast four earlier and not far away. It's Federer and Kyrgios right here, Rod Laver Arena. And you can do your bid for people like Luke and Heidi as well, australianozopen.com forward slash aces. And please do your bid and donate tonight with us. Yeah, and I'm hearing that the donations are rolling in thick and fast, but you know that we can always improve on that, James Bracey. Well, so many big stars right across the world have got involved in our bushfire appeal. And here is a message from two huge Aussie stars. Hey everyone, it's Kylie here. I'm um, so sorry I can't be with you tonight. I just wanted to say that I'm so, I'm so touched and in awe at how Australians have rallied together to help those in need right now. Um, your support and your donations mean so, 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 so much. Hi guys, I so wish we could be there with you tonight. We've just been so touched by the way Australians 
have just rallied to this cause and uh, shown their support. Uh, thank you so much for all your donations. And everything raised is going to go to helping communities all over Australia. So we know that Australians are great ralliers and we really need your support. So thank you. All the proceeds from tonight will go towards helping communities recover. So well done everyone and lots and lots of love. Welcome back everybody to Rally for Relief and what a superstar night we've had so far but you know what I think it's going to kick up a gear even more. Uh, those players behind me I can just feel the tempo change a little bit in here you reckon? Absolutely Beck, Curios v Federer this will be a beauty one set between these two and the talk is because Roger hasn't played in Australia just yet he's looking for some serious action out there tonight right here at Rod Laver Arena he knows this place all too well so let's head to the commentary box Casey, Sam and Todd to take you through all the action. Well, we've had our fun out here on Rod Laver Arena and we're about to get serious uh, as we heard James say that uh, Roger, we haven't seen his form, so this is our first opportunity to see what he looks like in the new, in the new year. Cassandra from the CFA tossing the coin there. 
great recognition, as we've said, all night. Have the firefighters here. Just a little bit of... Yes. I'd like you to be lost for words, bro. Oh, sorry, I thought we were <laughs> pausing for a moment there. No, it's, it's been great to have the firefighters here tonight. Just small recognition for what they've done for everyone throughout Australia. Well, and as they come back uh, to get started, they've had a bit of a warm-up. Casey, we saw some great stuff from Nick at the ATP Ladies Cup. and gentlemen, Roger Absolutely. Federer won the toss and elected amazing to receive. Stuff, First particularly in that doubles match against the GB. He's out here ready to play, so looking forward to this one. And we heard in the lead up, didn't we? Both players looking for some match play here. <laughs> Yeah, you don't get as it's as close to tournament conditions as you're going to get a packed house on Rod Laver Arena. And Roger was out uh, out here last night, uh, <laughs> getting that feel. And the roof was closed out here, sort of playing. Had as he finished uh, the session, he had the kids all came out on, onto the court, and it was a funny little moment happened. <laughs> As he left the court, went out into the hallway, one of his young fellas, the twins, Leo and Lenny, says, Papa, you didn't win this tournament last year. And uh, he says, no, no, I didn't. But I'm going to do my best this year. This was just all the natural conversation that I was walking behind. It was great stuff. Feeling each other a little, feeling each other out a little bit early in this one. Stuff. Well, this one uh, he got away with. Roger didn't dispatch it. Got a deep, great pickup from Nick. Certainly was. Didn't hit the drop shot well enough, but able to pick that one up off his toes. Yeah, Follows it up with an ace. And another $100 That's to it. the aces tally. There's always a few nerves when you step out on this arena for the first time of the year. Especially, normally when you're doing it, playing a practice set, you wouldn't have this many people. No, well, he's uh, Roger relaxed, and he's always like that anyway, but this is, this is perfect for him. He wouldn't get this opportunity uh, normally. Roger Federer to serve. You know what I'm interested in to hear what you guys 15. think is who is going to be the GOAT? <laughs> Lots of talk about the GOAT. Well, I can tell you he wants, to, he wants that title. He doesn't want to... Well, I think that's why he's still it. out here, right? Absolutely. Apart from loving to play. But he's got the other two guys sitting on the sideline chomping at his heels. But this is great for us. We haven't seen Roger so far this summer. We've seen the other guys in the... The net, but in the lead up, and now to see Roger, it's only going to be a first set or so, but in this sort of environment, we get a real look at him before he steps on the courts here next week. 
Well, he hasn't played a lot of um, tour tennis for a while. At the back end of the year, went to South America and played a, a series of exhibitions with uh, Alexander Zverev. Ten different cities, I think it was. <laughs> Actually, got the Virtual. biggest crowd ever in Mexico City of 42,000 coming in to watch uh, the exhibition match. That's extraordinary. 42,000. I played in Mexico City in front of about 15 people once. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the same. that was Niaki hit. Well, this, this man can play some pretty good twins. This takes a lot of talent and it actually takes a bit of practice. Just makes it look so easy. Okay. Federer. Serve for Federer. So we're all tied up at one all. Let's uh, head down to Dylan at courtside. Yeah, Todd, the intensity has definitely changed within the building. You can hear a pin drop down here when the points are getting played. These guys are taking this really serious. It's such a great opportunity to get a really good look at both gentlemen before the Australian Open after such a fun doubles match. It's got a bit serious down here, and we're all enjoying it. It's so great to see Roger in a relaxed environment too. Competitive, but he's showing us that personality. He's so captivating. There's definitely an aura that he carries everywhere he goes. Serves down here in Melbourne in Sydney with really heavy <laughs> conditions um, last week and didn't in that semi final of the ATP Cup get as many free points as we're used to seeing on his serve. It's such a big part of his game, isn't it? When he's serving well, the rest of his game flows. I know the roof's closed, but that bit of rain around tonight, it's going to be a real test to see how heavy the conditions will play here. Now, we're not expecting super hot weather to start the tournament next week. Game, Kyrgios. And a pretty good service game from Nick Kyrgios. We're on serve Kyrgios in leads this special match at Rally for Relief. It's Kyrgios 2-1. Time. 
Well, that's a much better view of Melbourne. We've struggled a little bit with uh, smoke over the last couple of days and with a big storm here tonight. We've had a bit of a flush out. We've had a lot of rain. It's just passing by now, so it's becoming a much better evening. And what a match we've got here for Rally for Relief. Nick Kyrgios on serve, 2-1. Roger Federer out here to serve. Just a reminder that uh, all the aces served tonight, all the money donated goes to the Bushfire Relief Fund. And you can still get in and donate. Go to ozopen.com slash aces. There's some great packages there for some very special opportunities. Double, there's a doubles match with you, Todd, yeah, and well, with Casey. Well, yeah, well, I wasn't pumping up my own sales. Oh, that's what it sounded like. <laughs> But uh, go and have a look. Some really good things to uh, get involved in an auction there. Okay, there's a doubles there with yourself and Mark Philippus. Awesome. And, um, one with yourself, Casey, and Alicia Mollick. Oh, I think it's the least we can do. Hey, Todd. Yes. Get, get, I need to get back out of court. Oh, me too. Certainly plenty of pace left in the 30-year-old, or 38-year-old legs of Roger <laughs> he'd, Federer. He'd like to be 30. Well, he's moving like it. <laughs> he just doesn't seem to age, even as the years go by. He's looked after his body, he still moves so well. 15 love. If it is a little bit heavy out there, the serve of Nick Kyrgios is not showing it. Yeah, that one at 218 kilometres an hour. Back-to-back -back $100 donations from Nick. He's also donating $200 for each ace he hits himself throughout the summer. And we've seen a lot of players jump on board with that as well. Yeah, that's been a highlight for me, Sam. It's been seeing all the players stepping up, like we mentioned, giving their time, giving pledges. Another clean service game from the Australian, and it is Nick Kyrgios. He stays ahead, 3-2. I'm here with Andrew. Uh, Andrew, mate, it's been such a tough time for fires across the country. Um, how's your summer been? Where were you? 
Uh, I've had a few trips away, um, Armadale, Batemans Bay, and just got back from East Gippsland. So. Now, what were some of the scenes up there that you saw? Sorry? What were some of the scenes up there that you saw? Yeah, it's, it, it's pretty hard to describe. It's the things that you end up seeing you don't want to see. Um, but, yeah, just devastation. Now, what's it like being three metres away from a very sweaty Nick Kyrgios? Are you, in, <laughs> are you enjoying your seats? Uh, it's been a fantastic experience. Oh, beautiful. Get back out there, boys. Back up to the commentators. Todd, take it away. Thank you, Dylan. And uh, thank you, Dylan. We're very lucky. Time. Yeah with what our firefighters have done uh, all around the country and we thank them all very much and uh, some of them with that opportunity there to be here this evening and get some reward back for all of the hours and effort that they've put into things for us. So it'll be Roger to serve. It's on serve, 2-3 in this special set. I've heard from um, Love 50. people from Malakuta and just want to remind people, you know, we've got to get back and get to these communities. Fifth and these are all holiday destinations and um, they've got to be rebuilt. Um, they're, still, they're still going to be beautiful. The Australian bush bounces back like, uh, you know, 12 months time. There'll be, a, if we can get a bit of rain, there'll be greenery, there'll be everything back. Of course, we've got a lot to do with our animals as well, though. I've seen a great thing on social media. Great volley from Roger, but urging people to go out with empty eskies and empty cars and take their kids and go out to these communities that you might normally not go to, these regional areas. You know, go stay in their hotels and eat at their restaurants and visit. Because you know, they, they don't, obviously, everything we do here and everything helps, but they need people to go back to those areas for the long-term sustainability and... Yeah, I mean, I grew up in regional Australia, so I can relate what it's, to what it's like coming from a small town and how much you need that influx of people. Just a little bit of pressure on the Federer serve here. So playing normal scoring. Advantage, curious. Was it? A loose errors, Casey, from Roger. Yeah, I think you can just see, as we've spoken about, getting court time, getting competitive match practice at this time of the year is so crucial. Some of those errors may just be from lack of competitive play. Well, we don't see that very often, do we? Three unforced errors from Roger Federer, Kyrgios and it's Nick Kyrgios gets the break. Well, just the difference, maybe. Nick's had all those matches coming in. Roger, as we said, first tournament of the year that he's going to play, so... He seems pretty relaxed about it, though. Yeah, he's not worrying, is he? I'm just looking at their head-to-head, -head and Nick uh, only beating him on the one occasion. That was the first time they met. That was in the, the movie Masters back in 2015. But they've had some close battles. Two of the matches they played went to 7-6 in the third. Played a ripper too at uh, the Labor Cup in 2017. That was in Prague. Roger was in all sorts of trouble there and went into his bag of magic tricks and got out of it. <laughs> We did the same at the Miami Masters a few years ago. That was the one that stood out for me. Epic match. I reckon it was almost match of the year in 2017. Yeah, that was the one that went 7-6 in the third. Third 
<laughs> there was no coming back. Talking about Roger's bag of tricks, it's a pretty deep and big bag, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit Harry Potter-like. <laughs> Santa Claus. The last game before old balls, Kyrgios finding it harder to get those three points on his serve. Kyrgios' challenge of the call on the right baseline. <laughs> it's not that far out, surely. Yeah, that was a good call. So Roger okay. gets the Better break back and we're please. back on serve. Nick Kyrgios, he's ahead 4-3. Kyrgios leads all games to three. Welcome back, everybody, to Rally for Relief, Relief rather, here in Melbourne. And it's been a brilliant evening. So many of the stars have come out to support it. We've had a lot of fun in our Fast Four doubles matches. And then we've got Nick Kyrgios coming out and coming on to play Roger Federer here. Just a reminder to everybody to donate for us if you can. Head to ozopen.com slash aces and you'll be directed to be able to donate and uh, go into an auction for some special packages as well. Love 15. Oh. And that is something that you want to talk about, Love Casey, something that... Uh, some of these monies will go to. That's the Bushfire Emergency Wildlife Fund. Yeah, if you're coming to the Australian Open over the, the next couple of weeks, head under court three, Zoos Victoria. They're going to set up a, a stall that's going to sell Australian animal soft toys and all profits and donations will go to the Bushfire Emergency Wildlife Fund, which I think is really important because... It's our wildlife, isn't it, that I think for not only us Australians, but all around the world has really um, made a huge impact. 
Well, you're going to see during the Australian Open, they always bring the native animals out and the photos of all the players. Well, Not just what hit Novak Djokovic uh, so much too. So he, between him and Rafa got together, got the ATP and the players all uh, got behind it. And a $725,000 donation to WWF, the World Wildlife Fund. Worth the challenge? Yeah, why yes, not? the curious is challenging the goal on the left, far side. Balls for them. And just why it was good, a good return, oh, took it early. Game Federer. Four games all. A little giggle from Roger. Nick said he's in my head. Get out of my head, please. It's not a safe place to be sometimes, Nick Kyrgios's head. <laughs> this is true. Fifteen all. It's been an interesting uh, month, though, or start of the year, rather, for, for Nick. It, we've actually seen a different side of him. So it's, it's been nice for everybody to see that part of him. Oh, it certainly has. Let's for some. I think he's looked really good. I think on the court, I think we've seen a great side to him off the court. You want to challenge? I think we've seen a great side to him on the court, but not just from his tennis. It's the way he's approached everything and... Being that in, team, in that team environment here in Australia where there's a lot of pressure for him coming to start the year, but having that group of people around him, I think he really thrived and he's going to really use that to propel himself. Good move forward. But propel himself into 13, next week 15. and into the remainder of the year, hopefully. So hard to pick that serve. He's one of the great returners, Roger. That's what he does so well, get racket on the ball. But uh, he's not reading it at all there tonight. Well, he just hits every serve off the same ball toss. Okay. There's another one. Kyrgios. So another ace and a donation. Kyrgios so the aces for bushfire control. relief. It is Nick Kyrgios who is ahead. Five games to four. Please. 
Way, please. Way, please. Well, that's the view. Melbourne Park. We're in Rod Laver Arena, of course. Time. The roof is closed. And what a night this has been. Full house helping to raise funds for Rally for Relief. So it's a big day tomorrow, isn't it, Todd, with the draw coming out? Yeah, we've got a draw shot uh, in, um, in the evening. And, uh, yeah, so that's what everybody sort of waits for. Fingers crossed that they get a, a good section or an opportunity to go deep and certain players stay away from you in the, in the draw. It's a talent to do that too. Some people have, can do it easily. Yeah, I could. <laughs> I'd find it hard to miss. Curious serve, isn't it? When, he, when that ball toss goes up and he makes impact, you just see the pronation and he's able to change just by that little angle of the racket face which direction he goes. And you mentioned it's always off that same toss, which is why it's so hard to pick at the last moment. Yeah, as a returner, you're trying to pick up little cues, oh, aren't you? But it's so hard when it's so finite, it's so small, the differences. Some players will throw the ball toss further to the right to hit the slice serve. Just does that, Nick. He can keep hitting them because everyone's worth $100. He's making some money. And there's another one. Kyrgios. He's got the rhythm on serve, Nick Kyrgios. He's only a game away Kyrgios from taking this set at 6 5. Well, there's some of the heroes that have been fighting the fires for us here in Australia. An opportunity to sit courtside, to watch the biggest names in our game. And they've had a great evening, as everybody here at Rod Laver Arena has. And a reminder, if you can, if you can we'd love you to donate. Time. Go to ozopen.com slash aces. If you want to find a different way to track your donation, you can actually go... We know the players are donating every time they hit an ace. We know... Tennis Australia and the tournaments are donating every time a player hits an ace, but you can actually go and follow a player and every time they hit an ace, donate along with them, whatever that amount is that you want to do. So it gives you something to follow maybe along the way as well throughout the Australian Open. So Roger, serving to stay in it. 15 love. I 
ball just dying off the Kyrgios backhand down the line. I think that was a marriage proposal. Comfortable hold, so it'll be a tie break to Six decide. Years old tie break. Who are we going with? We need the crowd to get going and get behind uh, Nick, don't we? Yeah. Well, he's been hitting aces. I always like the guy <laughs> who can get the free points. Not that Roger can't get free points on serve, but Nick's been doing it a little bit easier for me here tonight. I'm a little biased with that, though. Well, there's the skill of One, Federer zero. to take it early, change Federer. it up, Casey. Part of the bag of tricks that he's <laughs> able to do. That was a uh, Pete Sampras play, that one. Fault. And a, an evening with Roger corporate event a couple of nights ago we talked about playing Sampras oh yes gets around and uses the forehand that was his big breakthrough match 2001 and at round of 16 at Wimbledon came out and beat the defending champion and uh, all of a sudden his mindset changed and he, he said then I knew I could win Grand Slams it took him an extra two years 2003 was the first one that he won and once he Broke through. <laughs> He's been unstoppable. Two one. Curious. Shot from Kyrgios. Crowd are really getting into this match, aren't they? And pretty sure after this set's done, they're going to want to see more. They'll get it next week. There's plenty to come, that's for sure. Well, it's all a big excitement and all part of the lead up. Three, two, Kyrgios. after six points when we had the fast four earlier in the doubles we played a, a tie break there that was a first to five win that tie break this is a conventional tie break first to seven and win by two if we get to six points all That's the variety like that oh, that has man. kept Roger Federer. Federer in this game for so long. The ability to shorten points that shortens matches for him. And they talk about uh, classic serve volley. There it was on show. Five, three. 
Federer. So Fed with the mini break. These guys won't want this to end. The crowd, that is. <laughs> Packed house, isn't it? Easy. Let's. And I'm not being biased, but it certainly is one of the the most amazing courts to play on, isn't it? Rod Laver Arena here with the roof closed, the atmosphere. Special. Six more. And it'll be Roger Federer after showing off with the half volley drive forehand and has set points. Set points that become match points. Some of the firefighters in the front row there. There they are. I think he asked them. Where should I serve? Yeah, where, where should I serve? <laughs> right there. <laughs> Six on. Well, he's been looking for a coach for a while. Nick Kyrgios, maybe he found it. Maybe he can just pluck one of those out from the crowd. It was so funny, the tournament he won in Washington. Mm. The City Open last year, he did the exact same thing. Match points through so many of his matches. He's asking now for a little extra help from the Vyries. They've been through enough, Nick. So from here, whoever can win by two. Six, Federer. These two, as I mentioned, they played some epic tie breaks. Played seven, and Rogers won five of those seven. And he wins this one as well. Well, that was a treat. To have uh, Roger Federer here tonight and Nick Kyrgios putting on a wonderful display. So it's been a great evening. And I'm going to throw you down to courtside again to James and Beck. Thank you very much, Todd. What a great reception. Roger Federer and Nick Kyrgios putting on some great entertainment on the court. But do not go anywhere. Coming up, we catch up with them off the court. And one last, but the most important special announcement. This is the Australian Open Rally for Relief, live at Rod Laver Arena.
What an absolutely incredible night we have had here at Melbourne Park inside Rod Laver Arena. There are fireys, there are heroes. Yes, thank you so much for your efforts of the past weeks and months. And what about this to round out tonight? We are sitting alongside two champions of the game, Roger Federer and Nick Kyrgios. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Nick, I want to start with you because you really got the ball rolling in terms of donations. This is something that really resonated with you. So well done and congratulations. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's been an emotional couple of weeks, obviously. Um, you know, through HP Cup, it was practically why I was playing so hard. You know, I just wanted to, uh, you know, send a message. You know, it got, I, I was just at dinner and I wrote the tweet and I said, that was the opportunity for me to, I think, use my platform. And then the whole Aussie team got behind it. Obviously, Alex Demonard, John Pierce, John Millman, all those guys. And then I woke up the next day and it kind of exploded. And it was, uh, it, was, it was so emotional. You know, back home when I was in Canberra, I couldn't even go outside. Um, you know, it was, uh, it was emotional. And uh, I'm just so happy that we had Roger, you know, Novak, Rafa, some of the greats to get behind it. And everyone around the world at the moment, you know, it's, the awareness has grown. And I think we're doing everything we possibly can to, to overcome this together. You've done a great job, Nick, in getting that ball rolling, the Beck says, and they love you here for it all, 15,000 of them and many at home as well. Roger, for you, you consider Australia very much a second home. You spend that much time here. How hard was it for you over the last few months watching from afar and seeing these harrowing images coming from Australia as the bushfires burned? Well, I think like for anybody else uh, who's been here in the past, and I think uh, that's why also everybody's happy to help. Um, that the players are willing to do something that's always uh, very clear, especially it's happened right around this time. I hope it would have been no different, would it have been at a different time and the Australian Open would have not been on, but uh, it's, been, it's been hard to watch, you know, and um, as you get it through the news, you never know um, how bad it really is, but then you hear more and more about it and you get the sense that it's really, really bad. And then you get down here and you get really speak to the people as well who have been affected and uh, um, it's, it's been difficult, you know. Uh, you wish that this doesn't happen in your country and uh, in Switzerland we're quite lucky we don't have these kind of uh, extreme uh, situations so um, always happy to help always ha happy to lend my time or, or my money for that matter and uh, it was an absolute pleasure to be here tonight with Nick and all the other legends of the game and um, at least do my fair share. Brilliant job from you uh, and your cohorts out there on the court tonight. The match up with Nick was it the hit out you were after ahead of Monday when it all starts? Is that what you wanted? No. What I wanted to do is, <laughs> is to, to raise awareness, raise money, and tell the people to still come and travel to Australia. Uh, because probably around the world, people think that you cannot travel to Australia right now. So that was the idea. Right. And have a fun and have a good hit with, uh, with Nick. Uh, we get along very well. We've had some epic matches over the years. So this was, this was fun tonight. This was not about winning or losing. What did you think of Nick's form? Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nick, no, I'll it's, give it's you the right of reply. Nick, what did you think of Roger's form? What can I say? Honestly? Um, <laughs> Careful. <laughs> and Nick, he made me feel uh, pretty good before the match. He said he hadn't, you know, he had a day off today. He didn't really do anything. And he came out here and beat me again. So he, he, good luck this week. I'm sure you'll probably be in the final again. So I'll be, I'll be watching you. An all-star lineup out there tonight and some generosity from the players. As Beck mentioned, that, you know, $200 for every ace you've been serving. There were 69 of them at the ATP Cup. Um, and here tonight, Rafa with another huge donation. All these players digging deep as well. It must feel nice to know that well, this, is, this is happening now, but of course we've still got a, the Australian Open, two and a half weeks of tennis to go. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm playing Kuyong tomorrow and I'm going to do that there as well. But I mean, it's going to happen um, for as long as I can do it, honestly, maybe, maybe further, you know, when I'm on tour traveling, if it's still going on, if I'm out of sight Australia as well. So, um, I just want to get, I just want to get over this. Hit. And we are nearly towards the end of the evening tonight, but that doesn't mean you can finish donating. The call to action, please continue donating tonight and right through the Australian Open. The details are on your screen, ozopen.com forward slash aces. So give whatever you can. Very pleased to announce tonight, as you see some of these images that remind us why it is so important uh, to donate, ozopen.org forward slash aces. 
We came in tonight knowing from the aces so far in the summer of tennis that we got just over $400,000. I'm pleased to announce on the back of tonight's effort from these two and everyone involved, from you at home donating, and from everyone buying a ticket here at Rod Laver Arena, the total now stands at $4,826,014. Guys, just a quick reaction from you, Roger, and Nick on that total. Nearly $5 million. I'm an incredible number. Um, so much needed. Uh, I hope it keeps going. Like you guys said, the Australian Open is just around the corner now, and uh, um, I hope much more money will, will get together and come together. But this was definitely an incredible kickoff. If we need an event, uh, we hope to not do this every year. But if we have to, the players will be here. I know that Tennis Australia and the Australian Open will be here, and the players too. So it's uh, and you guys too, because of your uh, coming to the stadium tonight. That has also helped, and uh, you guys are uh, country. Everybody can look forward to uh, in donating. You guys are uh, the way to do it. You all come together for other people, and I think that's a, a true inspiration for many, many other countries around the world watching this right now. Nick, you must be absolutely thrilled with that total. You've been a huge part of this. Yeah, it's amazing. I got goosebumps when, um, when you said that number, and when everyone you know, came together tonight, it's just an amazing feeling, and Roger said it. You know, I'm just glad that we have your support. I, I really appreciate it, and I'm sure everyone in this, everyone involved, you know, everyone that's losing their homes, losing losing their loved ones, you know, they're, they're going to appreciate that. And you're an absolute champion, so I appreciate it. Well done, Nick. Roger, congratulations on all your efforts. Keep the applause going, ladies and gentlemen. Nick Kyrgios, Roger Federer. <laughs> Tony, it's over to you. Yeah, thanks, James. Joined on centre court now by the, uh, the firefighting fraternity, the representatives of Oz, because... So many are still out there on the front line at the moment. Alistair, to see almost $5 million raised must be so overwhelming. Yeah, it's incredible. It really is. It's a mammoth effort. Um, and while we're here, I'd just like to um, acknowledge a fellow from Forest Fire Management who lost his life on the weekend, Bill Slade. Uh, I'd like everyone to just send your thoughts and wishes out to his wife and two children. Absolutely. We'll certainly be doing that. So to Bill's wife and two children, from everyone here at Melbourne Park and Bill's colleagues on the front line, our thoughts are certainly with you. And Chris, nearly $5 million, that's a lot of money. How's it going to help uh, at the current situation? That's a lot of bickies. <laughs> $5 million, well, that'll certainly help build the, uh, families and communities rebuild. And I think that's important. Exactly right. Now, can we please get one last round of applause for every single firefighter here tonight and right across Australia for the incredible work they've been doing for our country. What an atmosphere here and here tonight and seeing 15,000 people on their feet for such a good reason as well. Almost $5 million raised up to this point, Beck, and it's not over yet. James, I don't know about you, but I think every single person in Rod Laver Arena tonight is getting goosebumps. It has been incredible, the support from people inside Rod Laver Arena and everybody donating from the bottom of our hearts. We say thank you. Thank you so much. Couldn't agree more. We certainly do. And, of course, ozopen.org forward slash aces if you would like to commit any money over the next few weeks as the Australian Open rolls on there because there's some tennis just around the corner. We have had so much fun tonight. We hope you've enjoyed watching. We've had a great doubles match and a great singles match between Roger Federer and Nick Kyrgios. The Australian Open just days away. Thank you very much, everybody. Take care. Good night from Melbourne. So shed your skin and let's get started. Bro